by. The day before the show, just woke up. And I am thirsty. Probably have dry mouth, man. Drying out process has, has like worked pretty well um, so far. I'm gonna get to posing. Um, I'm gonna pose for t 10 minutes. Eat my first meal. I'm just gonna eat a plain chicken and a lot of water. And then after that, the carb up commences. All right, here we go, guys. Um, oh yeah, my number's 392, by the way. We got rice, uh, four cups of rice, well, about three and a half. A um, uh, little bit less than a cup of peas in there, and then a little bit of chicken in both. And then I'm going with the Nutella. I'm gonna mix it with, with mix it with it uh, for some good sweetness. All right, so this is my this is my the first carb meal. I'm gonna go with the Nutella in here. Mix it up real good. It's all hot and warm and yummy. Um, this is the beginning of the carb up day before the show guys and uh, haven't had carbs in three and a half days I feel like you can use Nutella because it, even though it's high in fat it's really high in sugar and it just mixes really well with pretty much anything because it tastes so damn good but this is going to be the first big meal going down of many rice meals today and sweet meals um, even though it's my first carb meal or my first uh, um, day of eating you know heavy carbs uh because of, i've been like doing keto or basically no carbs i have been really low carb for about two months now wow my average carbohydrate content in the off season off season is about 600 grams a day my average for this cut has been about 150 so i should be able to absorb most of these carbs and just blow up like a balloon baby it's gonna be awesome it's the first bite oh my god mm. Now, I found a lot of uh, Greg Doucette's, like, planning and stuff. Guys, I mean, he's amazing. Can't afford his coaching. I mean, uh, but, you know, guys on 55 bodybuilding shows. He's been around forever. Can't really go wrong with listening to him. Uh, the only thing I'm doing different is eating a little bit less rice on the first meal and a little bit less peas to add the Nutella. And also because I'm actually technically bigger than him, um, size-wise, I think I can afford a little bit more calories um, from, like, the Nutella. But also my uh, rice will be a little bit less um, just because I actually have less rice. I'm in Florida and I can't keep going to the grocery store over and over. There's too much going on. So I think, you know, I know enough about macronutrients. I've been doing this for quite a long time. Um, so it's not going to be that big of an adjustment for me to figure out how I can incorporate this kind of stuff instead of um, only doing it the way that he, he did it with that with Will, Will Tennyson. But yeah, man, really, really cool. Super pumped. I'm going to enjoy this food. He's on the next meal, ladies and gentlemen. Second round of shaving. I didn't get the first round in, sorry. Uh, I was doing all my upper body and whatever, I'm going to do legs. So I, I actually did my shoulders, my chest, my abs, everything. I just got my first meal down. You saw that I, I'm using this listening to the wifey. She picked up a nice female razor for me. And then you can't go wrong with a little satin K. Now I already used one razor. Let's see right here, but I will not use, I will not do uh, upper and lower with the same razor. There's just no way. I mean, even though I already trimmed things up. So uh, yesterday and this morning I trimmed with this one, nice electrical one. Um, uh, I don't have a good enough camera. Anyway, long story short, it's an Arelco or a, what is it called? Phillips or Pan, no, Panasonic wet dry. Panasonic wet dry. Get that at Target. It is super legit uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, tightening on the skin. It like does, just doesn't leave barely any hair at all. And so far it's been the best one for me to use normally just to trim body hair, not do anything crazy, just to trim body hair. Um, so I always do that first and that's how I usually shave regularly. And then I'll add the razor in for shows. And so I'm going to be skin tight like a baby's butt. All right, baby, meal two, about two and a half cups of egg or two and a half cups of rice some peas in there some peas in there there's a little bit of chicken a little bit of tuna two rice cakes i'm gonna also add a tiny bit of nutella to this and gentlemen gentlemen so um time's flying by really fast and i can't get all this video by myself um, but i'm staying in florida by myself okay so you need to exfoliate to get a good tan especially if you're really white uh you know white skin tone like me i'm very fair skin tone on my lower half especially so i use this yellow glove it's an exfoliating glove the gloves are a little easier they can you know you can get it around uh, the small crevices better which is i mean every little thing counts okay guys i'm telling you you're only on stage for however long they let you on stage for and if you're not as perfect as you can be you're not giving yourself a good shot for the judges to see you and as big a show as the olympia is man you gotta do everything in your power and then i use this as far as the actual fo exfoliating cream um it's not really a cream. I don't even know what you'd want to call it, but it's thick, super, super thick. 
and um, it is already gritty. So people can just rub that on and use that as an exfoliator. But what I did was I rubbed that on, let it get in my skin a little bit when I was already wet, like my skin was wet, and then I rubbed all over with the with the glove. And I'm just trying to prepare my body, and this is what you would do too, just trying to prepare your body as best as you can to get that tan, absorb the tan, let your skin suck that in as, as best as you could possibly suck it in, and then allow for the uh, next day, the more clear coat, the more staged tan spray to go on and cover it up to make it look nice and smooth and, and just perfect on stage. So that's a little bit of that pre, uh, more pre-tan, pre-show uh, um, kind of execution. I am actually going ahead to go get my tan right now. I'll give you guys a little overlook of what that's, that is. Tan complete, guys. Uh, so I actually hate this part because I it literally gets everywhere, um, all over everything. It just won't absorb into my skin as well as I'd like, but it's done. And uh, I sat in front of the fans for 20 minutes to try and get it to completely dry it didn't it's still tacky so that means it's probably gonna stick to everything but i get a bronzer tomorrow they'll touch me up before i go on stage kick some fucking ass baby it's basically the second to last meal of the day uh it's a little past 6 p.m rice cakes Pretty uh, nasty feeling at this point. Um, haven't drank much water since this morning, so body just feels nasty. You know, you would think you would really enjoy eating all this crap. Wow. Not enjoying it at all. My last meal is going to be Checkers, rallies, fries, because I hear they're so good. Um, McDonald's fries, because I used to think McDonald's fries were the best thing in the world. I haven't had McDonald's for 14 years, so let's see if that's true. I'm supposed to have a lot of ketchup with it, probably because of the sugar and the salt, or in, yeah, the salt and a little bit of moisture in the ketchup. But, yeah, this whole process feels more like a job. Feels like I'm really working hard to like forcing these food. So my body will absorb it and then be fucking beastie tomorrow, but we'll see. We shall see, I'll be showing everything up. All right, here we go. Never been to this place before. Got some checkers. Thank you for choosing checkers. Yeah, can I just get a uh, a fries lovers XL or no? Just give me a large fry. Okay, you can go Thanks. All right, just got my fries from Checkers. Um, man, customer service is shit. I think it's just because nobody works anymore, so I think people just forgot what customer service is like, but no one says thank you. No one, hey, how you doing, sir? No, I mean, it's absolutely the most pathetic thing in the world. I freaking hate the way people treat each other now. All right, we got McDonald's fries. That was really quick. Hey, we got pleases, we got thank you. We have had a nice day from the McDonald's employees. There you go. Maybe they're the, why they're the most successful fast food chain in the entire freaking world. Little bit of customer service, a little bit of, hey, thank you very much for spending money here. I'll get you back when I'm eating. All right, so those are McDonald's fries. Those are Checkers fries. Those are the four packets of ketchup I got because I asked for extra ketchup and that's how much I got. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just getting a little confused by the world right now. And here's my two Diet Cokes I drink with it. Let's see if they're any good. All right, I'm gonna go with the McDonald's ones first because I haven't had McDonald's fries. Yep, about how I remember them. 
and they're super cold too so that always that makes it way better when they're cold because yeah hot food's always supposed to be eaten cold man that sucks but no so i stopped the checkers fries It still tastes better than what I've been eating all day. So, that's nice at least. These are a lot crunchier. Yeah, those got a different flavor to them. A little more oily of a flavor. No, nah, I thought they were supposed to be kind of spicy, but... Almost like a sweetness to them. Kind of tastes like donut eat for a fry. Really weird. Huh. Kind of stopped eating them, though. I feel like uh, I see my chest getting bigger as I eat them. Damn. Anyway. It's my last full meal. Let me just talk a bars before bed.